The only thing that can top my breast is Martin Lawrence opening up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have to blow him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but I have to say thank you so much for being out here tonight. This is an honor for me to be on a big stage and on a little bit. So thank you, friends, and thank you, family. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Let's give a big LA woo woo to my family here from Viva Las Vegas. Yeah! Bitch about your family being in town? <laughs> As the fact that they wanted to see my new home. Oh. You know, being a broke comedian, I live in a very modest place. <laughs> Eating a great deal, though, for only $10,000 a month. I get to live in a cardboard box underneath a 405. <laughs> but it does have central air. <laughs> Mind you, I have two moms. And you thought you had a bad? Mm -mm. <laughs> and no, they're not lesbians. They're both my father's exes. <laughs> you know that old saying, once you go black, you don't go back? That didn't apply here. Daddy went back. <laughs> so here is a white woman and a black woman sitting I don't really care, they pay their ticket. <laughs> so, my two moms, you know, you got the dark chocolate, the white chocolate, so you got the milk chocolate. <laughs> so basically, we are one messed up cookie. <laughs> Mrs. Fields wouldn't even buy us. <laughs> so my two cookies cross upon the threshold, hoping for some indication in my new home. <laughs> The grandchildren would be arriving soon. <laughs> Needless to say, I am way off on their schedule. <laughs> so you have the white meat and the dark meat. So you get... Mm, 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 mm. And the... Mm. <laughs> Um, this is my bed, this is my desk, restrooms outside, make sure you wash your hands in the LA River. <laughs> Dear, this is, this place is, um, it's, it's nice, um, I'm glad you're pursuing your dreams. <laughs> And this is why 
I became an actor. <laughs> Turned comedian because my painting and music career failed. <laughs> and as an actor, I wanted to evoke emotion and depth and character in people. But as a comedian, I just want to be fucking famous. <laughs> One may think, I don't want money, cars, or fucking houses. I just want to fuck. <laughs> and I want everybody to know about it. <laughs> That's right. I am going to call CNN, and I am going to let them know that Brad Pitt... <laughs> that Kobe Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you, when I Facebook the Clinton, <laughs> it is going to be crazy. <laughs> but let's be real. I'm probably not going to become famous. So, yeah, you never know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It might, might not happen. So, and... Fortunately, Fred, my purple vibrating penis can't entertain me for hours all of the time. <laughs> so I have to appease my mothers and give them grandchildren. But the only problem is, I can't quite figure out what the fuck is wrong with the men in LA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me neither. Yes. I'm emotionally unavailable. <laughs> I'm trying to find myself. <laughs> You know what? How would you find your motherfucking balls? <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies. Oh. Oh. You know what the worst part about this? I actually overheard a 90 year old motherfucking man tell that to his date. You know what, motherfucker? The only thing you're gonna find is the grave. Okay. So what I realized that I need to lower my standards is to say fuck it. So what I need. Fuck it, you'll do. <laughs> yeah. So baby, I don't care if you don't have a job <laughs> or friends. If you don't have the smallest dick in the world. <laughs> Ooh, happy birthday. Well, you know what? You're going to like this one. What I need you to do, I need you to bedazzle your penis. <laughs> Just do me a favor. No blood diamonds. I gotta look out for my people, okay? <laughs> but just do me a little, little favor. Don't tell my moms, because all you're gonna get is, mm. It's a nice form of expression. <laughs> and, mm, you nasty! <laughs> Thank you.